let's go ahead and take a look at uh, building a resume. Always exciting, putting ourselves out, selling ourselves. And if you looked at some of our other videos dealing with um, resumes, you'll see a trend here. Uh, the top part is so different than what resumes were in the 90s, uh, in the 2000 to 2010. They've evolved. They've really evolved. It used to be 2000, 2010, maybe LinkedIn, maybe one other reference. Now you're going to see that we want those references. This is a sales tactic, which now has come into resumes. It used to be that if you were a real estate agent, every real estate agent I, I knew, I used to deal with real estate software for uh, the real estate industry back in the 90s. Every real estate agent wanted their picture on their business card. They wanted them their picture, if they could, put on their contracts. They wanted people to see the face. So that's really a big change, is to make sure that it stands out. You stand out. Here's a picture of somebody, so you're more than just a couple letters and a name. And of course, you need your contact information. It should always be at the top. Uh, you have your summary. What are you focusing on? Be a little careful with your summary because if you have everything in your summary and then they scroll down to experience and education and skills, they're going to stop the second you repeat yourself in your resume. That usually means to the reader, hey, this person doesn't have anything more to offer me. I'm done. Uh, so be a little careful how you word your summary. Most companies appreciate when you come in here and you've adjusted this summary to be both about you and how you're going to serve that company. So it's worth researching that company to find out how those connect and put that in the summary. Take some time to do that. That's, a, that's actually a pretty big deal. And the references are huge also, especially in data science. Uh, when you're talking about any of the programming or data science, data analytics, having a place to go where they can look it up and scroll down and see different things you're doing, whether it's LinkedIn in this case, which is the business profile most commonly used, GitHub where you have stuff published, Facebook, I'm always hesitant because that tends to push more towards uh, social media type jobs and other jobs. Uh, but certainly there's people who have Facebook um, uh, who do marketing and stuff like that. But these links, having these basic links here is important. Uh, people are starting to look for that for some other uh, setup. Maybe you have a personal website. This is a good place to put that so that they now have a multitude of links that go back to you and highlight who you are. And then the next part, or next four parts... So for the next four parts, we have a combination of experience, education, skills, certifications. And you can see they're organized. If you have, you know, a lot of people like to see what kind of degree you have. They want to know where it came from. And if you just got out of college, you're going to put education at the top. And then maybe you'll put skills after that and then your experience at the bottom. If you've been in the field for years, um, you know, my degree, just to give you my age, goes back to the early 90s. So I usually put education at the very bottom. And then because a lot of the stuff I'm trying to sell myself on right now is my skills, I actually put that at the top. And I'll put my education, my certifications at the bottom, my skills, and then my experience is, is since it's a huge part of my resume, goes next. You can organize these in whatever order you want that's going to work best for you and sell you. So remember, you're selling yourself. This is your image. Probably don't wear um, uh, an old tie-dye t-shirt with holes in it. You know, something nice because it is professional. Uh, and, of course, your summary. Your And then what do you have to offer the company? And, again, when I put out resumes, and I haven't done a resume in a while, you go in there and you can take this and reorganize this. So if the company is looking for something specific, you might put the experiences specific to that company. Um, you might even take experience, uh, if you have like a long job history like I do, I've gone into a lot of different things, you might leave out those companies or those experiences that had nothing to do with data science because it just becomes overwhelming. Resume should only take about 30 seconds to glance over, maybe a minute tops, because after that point you've lost the person's interest. And if they want to dig deeper, they now have links, they have your website, they have LinkedIn, and they can now take this and they come back to it and they go, oh, okay, let's look at this person a little closer. So a quick overview, this is your sell sheet selling you to the company. Uh, so always tie it to the company so that you have that, what am I going to give this company? What are they going to get from me? Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.